to our class. Okay, so magandang umaga po sa inyo and Merry Christmas sa inyong lahat. Ang aga ng Christmas natin, ano, it's already September and I hope that even if this is our first time recording this um, session, sana po is makinig kayo mabuti. This lesson is very interesting and to my dear students, again, as what I've said before, I will try to make this presentation interactive even if it is not um, even if it is uh, asynchronous, okay? So let us begin. This may look like a regular class. So bear with me. Tayo nang magsimula. So the first lesson that we'll have today is lesson one. The importance, meaning, and assumptions of art. Last time, I asked you, what is an art? Many of you answered many things. And I'm actually very happy with your answers. Marami nagsabi na, it's a skill, it's man-made. So all of the things that you've said is correct. So very good kayo dyan, and I'm very happy for that. Now, when if I ask you, what do you consider as art? Many of you said, oh, ma'am, we consider this as an art. Dancing, poems, so lahat na nakikita natin that was made by men, is you consider that as an art. That is also correct. Now let us define art. Art, it is a wide range of man's activity from expression down to creating tangible or intangible things. So, it could be, um, it, when we say intangible, intangible, pwede siyang nahahawakan at pwede siyang nakikita, na express through songs and dances. So, hindi natin sila nahahawakan. Pwede rin naman tangible such as paintings. Um, infrastructures, ayan, yung mga magagandang nakikita natin, and also yung, yung mga painting, oh, what else? Oh, oh, yung mga pottery, so yung mga yon kasama yon uh, Visual artwork is one of the oldest, rich, complex, and popular forms of the art, highly rooted in one's culture. Other forms like auditory and performing arts are also considered as manifestation of man's expression and imaginative skill. Now, we also believe that art is constant use of skills and creative imagination, especially in production of aesthetic objects. But in a more specific and straightforward way, we can define it in this way. Ang art is a skill. It means ito po ay nahahasa as, we, as time goes by. So we, we could say that during the first time na nag-drawing nag ang isang artist, pwedeng hindi siya ganun kaganda. But because of the skill and constant practice, it is improving. I remember kagaya na sabi ko sa inyo kahapon, Ed Sheeran is, an, an, is a singer, we know, and a composer as well. So he, he is doing his music and he on an, in an interview, he said that uh, his voice is not like that. Hindi ganun yung boses niya, kagaya nung ano yung nagpapakinggan natin. But, because of constant practice, naging ganun na siya. Pinadinig niya yung kanyang song, and nag-iba talaga siya. Because it is constant practice. So, from the very beginning, maybe may potential ka nung bata ka. Some people... Um, because they they using their potential, they, they have a different. They became a very very different thing. So nagkaroon ng changes. Ayun na pinakaiba nila. Next, art is painting, sculpture, music, dance, play, and the like. So ayan ang kina consider na art. And I know you are very well aware about these things as well. Art is expression of man's experience, thoughts feelings and observations that transform something ordinary to extraordinary. Diba? Some of the artists, when you ask them, 
why did you make this song? Uh, this is about my experience with my lover. Kagaya ng mga songs na ginagawa nila Taylor Swift, nila Ed Sheeran, Adele, Ariana Grande. So, may mga, so, may mga experience sila ng heartbreak. So, instead of um, just letting the heartbreak, it's part of their healing. Aside from that, um, their, uh, some of them as well, yung mga thoughts nila about what's happening inside of the, uh, maybe on the moment. That's why, uh, for example, yung, kay, yung books natin, di ba? Yung mga kila J.K. Rowling, yung mga ganon. Yun yung nat, nasa isip niya when she was on a train. So, she made something. Sculpture, expression of man. Okay, so may mga dami-dami nating sculpture para po doon. And we also have lots of sculptures then pag pupunta tayo sa mga Greek. Kasi they, they were inspired by the stories. They were moved with the story. That's why they did these things. Aside from that, art, this is this experience that exudes from man's inner voice can transform into something functional, artworks, that lifts one's spirit. It allows others to experience aesthetic significance, pain, sorrow, confusion, and other emotional power, or even helps us appreciate beauty. Iba't iba kasing klase yung art and some artists, they could, from their art, sometimes yung paintings, makikita natin, is it sa mga kay drama, nakikita nila na, oh, bakit, bakit ka sad? Why are you sad? Is it, sad? they will ask, why are you sad? What happened? Sasabihin nun, ano, I could feel the pain of the artist. Tapos minsan naiiyak sila. That's why there are some paintings that that they really want to possess. It's not because the name of the artist, but because of what happened to him, because of this inspiration as well. Next, art is derived from the Latin word ars, which means ability or skills or man-made. And in Italian form, word artist means craftsmanship, master in inventiveness. Even the nature is so beautiful. It's not considered as an art because it was not made by a man. Okay? So, wag tayo mako-confuse to. I know sometimes it's very confusing kasi uh, before then, I thought, ay, nature, art chan. Hindi pala. Because it should be man-made. Now, there are different assumptions of art. The first one, art is rooted in culture. The second one is art is universal. And the third one is art is not in nature. And art involves experience. So, these are the different assumptions of art. Let us begin with the art is rooted in culture. It ties our present from the past and connects us to the future. There are some paintings that is even if it is hundreds of years back or thousands of years back, makikita natin that it has something to do with past, the present, and sometimes even predicted the future. Diba? So, even eh, during the time, may mga ibang art na tinitig na nila, pagkita nila, it, uh, it shows um, some alien things, diba? Naiisip na yun ng mga sinaunang tao. Aside from that, in the, it is tied in the culture because you could see how, you could see, you could really see ano ba yung itsura nila noon time na yun. Iba't ibang form ng art, alam natin kung saan siya nanggaling. So, aside from that, um, one of the uh, forms of art din, di ba, yung mga uh, yung kasuotan natin ng mga uh, kasuotan ng mga tao during that time, yung mga songs nila, for example, um, yung mga songs about tribal. So, makikita natin doon na talagang yung tribal songs nila, it could be sometimes from the raining, for weddings, we could also have um, para para maganda yung uh, yung la may mga mga warrior. So, those songs, it express um, their, their very rich culture. So, isa sa pinakamaganda yan. As independence of one's culture, artworks serve as a form of communication of ideas and emotions, perception, or even passion through political, philosophical, and spiritual manner. Now, Art is also rooted culture. Bakit? Because art binds the identity of one's culture, which makes them unique from the rest. It mirrors the culture. So, mahikita natin that this one, that art really is very relatable dun sa mga different places nila. For example, 
I- yung mga nat- nakukay ng mga ano natin, makikita in Philippines, usually mga palayok, diba? Y- y- yung mga sino, yung mga primitive era. So, might, ah, okay, sa Philippines to. Ito yung mga ganitong markings sa kanila to, dito yung nag-originate. Kaya nga, diba yung mga ano natin, yung mga nag explore do sa mga different um, art, uh, sa different places, tinitignan nila yon So, nai- nai-identify nila. Tapos nalalaman din nila, dun din, bukod dun sa mga scrolls, sa mga records in history, nalalaman nila na, ay, teka, bakit et, etong ganitong kagamitan, hindi to present in the Philippines during that time. So, nalalaman nila, ah, okay, may barter system na nagaganap, may nakapuntang dayuhan dito, ay eh, nagbigay ng mga gantong kasangkapan, gantong kasuotan. So, nade-detect nila yon because of this, tra- this part, this art became traces of history. Sometimes, sa mga wall decors, sometimes, dun sa mga alahas na that was made, sculptures as well, o oh, yan, kagaya yan, ang mga anito, o oh, diba, yung mga sculptures na ginawa as for the as respect for their gods and goddesses during that time, di ba, meron silang mga ganun. So, makikita natin, true art, yung kung gano'ng ka-rich ang culture nila. And every time we will discuss different forms of art, makikita natin, iba yung itsura ng mga ano sa Korea, iba yung itsura sa Japan, sa Saudi, sa Philippines, and that makes it beautiful. Kaya yun, pag pumupunta tayo sa ibang places, makikita natin, wow, it's so beautiful! We don't have this in the Philippines. Okay, so that's why sana ganun yung maging reaction natin every time that we will go to different places, diba? Lalo na yung mga museums na talagang nagtatampok ng kanilang uh, life. Art is also universal. Art is old as humans. In almost every country and within the most primitive communities, there is always art in every era and locus. No matter what period or location, art exist. So, lagi niyang tatandaan yan. Kung gano'ng katanda ang man, gano'n din katanda ang ang art. Hindi man kagaya ngayon na they, they, I mean, doon kagaya nung nausay mga paintings na sobrang kaganda, but there are different forms of art that is being used. Kasi madami nga siyang forms. Now, it is, uh, that is why it is certain where people from different countries worldwide respond to art for every other reason. Bakit may mga songs about folk? Bakit may mga folk songs? Because they did that as the respect for their gods, as an expression of what they want. They also have different stories. They also have um, their clothing. is also part of it. Iba-iba kasi di ba't ibang season. Mas makakapal dun sa malalamig na lugar. Iba yung style. Mas, ma- mas maninipes. O sa atin nga eh, nakabahag tayo. And makikita din natin in Philippines, iba din yung art when when uh, and after na dumating ang mga Spaniards. Nagkaroon kasi nga nahaluan na ng iba from very primitive places to Spanish parts, 'di ba? Nagkakaroon ng iba. Iba yung mga damit, iba yung culture. So dun sa mga Spanish era na uso na yung mga gold, diamonds kasi may mga mayayaman na at dumami na rin yung mga mga ngalakal. Kaya natitingnan din nila yung mga different styles of art. From the very beginning, alam nila yung mga era, era, era. Itong mga to, uh, at itong mga palayok na to, panahon pa to ng mga ganito. Kasi ito uso nung panahon na yon. So, nakikita nila. So, through this, we could envision what kind of things, um, what kind of things na meron nun na na-enjoy na nila. Now, ano magyayari sa atin pag nalaman natin yon? There are some evidences na magagamit nat na nagagamit noon that we could use nowadays. That we could still use nowadays. So, okay, na it's very important that we also know the history. Now, this one, art is not in nature. Art is man-made and his skills and craftsmanship kagaya ng sinasabi. Again, even if the rock formation is so beautiful, it's not considered as an art because it is not man-made. Next, um, art ev- involves experience. Experience is the actual doing of something. The perfection of art appreciation will never be possible without experience art. All art requires experience. The experience of art is subjective. Kaya nga, ang judgment natin ang, ng art is very personal. Some of you, sabi niyan, uh, for, gamitin natin, lagi ko sinasabi, yung, uh, yung painting ni Goma. 
So some of them they appreciate that the the because of masculinity. This is my form of expression, sabi nga niya. And we cannot question him. Some people believe, wow, it's really good. Diba? Some people will say na, who? Marami naman niya kung nakikita niya sa CR, sa table. But but yun hindi nabibili ng 100,000. Okay, sabi nga ron. But it is very subjective. Of course, we are also paying for the artist as well. The more na mataas ang kalidad niya, the more nakilala siya din as well is mas malaki. Aside from that, there are some effects Pwede na uh, yung ibang art form, for example, the music. Some music has different, uh, different ano sa inyo, the thing. For example na lang, yung mga K-pop songs. Oh, for example, I'll give you an example sa BTS. Sa BTS, I know some of you, ano ba yan? K-pop, walang kwenta, di ba? May mga ganong tao. But, did they know that there are some people, because of BTS, because I have students, eh, nakakwento nila, they do have a suicidal tendency. But because when they heard the BTS and they were, they became a fan of BTS, they didn't do it. Why? Kasi it's for them, iba yung effect. They became very more happy. They become more positive because of the song. And maybe some of you na nakap napakinggan yung song na yun, hindi. Naki smooth like butter. Gumagana lang kayo na, na, na kasi nakikiuso. Dahil uso yung kanta, so pakidalagay na rin sa Spotify. But to some people that they do research and pumapasok sa puso nila yung kanta ng BTS, even if they do not speak the vernacular of the BTS band, they still understand. So, we cannot judge other people because this this experience, we, we have different experiences. Aside from that, bakit yung mga, ano ba yan? Bakit mo binibili yung mga ganun kamamahal na art? Eh, ang pangit naman. Lalo na yung mga abstract. Some people, of course, I I could say na, including me, I, I don't understand abstract. Unless I was said so. But there are times that I could feel parang there's anger, there's love. Isa mga ganong bagay. So I don't understand abstract. Kasi nga abstract siya. But there's a meaning behind it. And some people, they do understand. Kasi yun yung effect sa kanya. That is the effect of this thing sa kanya. Di ba? Um, one of one of the things that I love, yung mga, I, I don't know, I really like the artworks of Heart Evangelista in in the bags. Um, every bag, especially those kind of bags that that cost a fortune. Uh, I like it in a way. I'm not saying I will gonna buy. But I don't have the money to buy those kind. But having that, some people having that kind of bag is not just part of their collection, but rather. They really love, they they really think that this is an investment. Alam ko may mga kanya-kanya tayo, di ba sa inyo, di love sapatos. And, and some of you don't, don't care about this material things. They don't get attached. But let's not, let's face the fact that there are some people who get attached. They get attached to their bags and they cannot let it go because this is their favorite. Maybe because it's a gift from their loved ones that is uh, that already died. Or it's their gift for the self when they felt that they really need the gift. Kasi may iba, basta lang makabili, pero may iba talaga na hindi. So, I like the art of Evangelista because she's uh, putting her paintings in the bag and reserve as a purpose. I, I like the drawings, but I know there are many people who doesn't like the art of Heart Evangelista, but I do like. Um, I also like the art of Solen Yusuf. She usually made little art, hindi siya masyado, but I like how she draws things. So, kanya-kanya tayo. Um, I know some of you, you have your own art, especially yung mga exposed talaga dyan. I, I do understand. Now, um, the, first, the next question would be, what is art appreciation? Ano nga ba art appreciation? So now, um, art appreciation is the capacity to understand art's work and experience a certain enjoyment in creating art. Kaya nga ina-appreciate. Kaya sabi ko sa inyo, in our lesson, I will not ask you to create an art. Hindi ko kayo pagagawan kasi number one, our lesson is art appreciation. Uh, let us have, let together, let's imagine, create expression and innovate, um, and appreciate rather, 
the artworks that we already have. Okay, so yun yung gusto ko maramdaman natin in this subject. As we see, hear, or feel any artwork, we realize that something in that artwork is also part of our experience. Because art is the transmission of feelings the artist has experienced or the expression of the ineffable emotion of the artist. That's from Tolstoy. So, yun ang kagandahan ng art. This is the beauty of art because it is the transmission of the expression. And any artwork will prompt us with a valuable aesthetic emotion, admiration, and inspiration. Now, the next question is creativity. Ano nga ba creativity? So, it's the process of imagination from capture, dream, explore, maker, pro. Not all people, all of us, may capture our ideas. Meron tayong ideas and sometimes, from our ideas, we dream that these ideas will come to life. Kaya lang, the difference between us and the artist is the artists explore, they experiment, and they develop their idea into full vision. From imagination, they start creating. From exploring, they are making their vision with confidence. And pro- is they organize their work and gain the full control. So, from capturing, lahat tayo, ako, meron ako mga different ideas that I think, I, I think this is a good art. I even dream about doing this. But the difference between you and the creative minds of the artist is that they explore, they make, and they organize so that meron tayong nakikitang art. Yun lang, so I hope that you enjoy our lesson today. So very short and quick lang tayo. Goodbye everyone.